Hi, my name is Jeppe. This is my daughter Sally. We have a small family company in Sweden where we train dogs and dog owners. I have trained dogs and dog owners for over 35 years. We will now show you a short clip for you to get some inspiration for your own training. And since not all our students speak Swedish, we have chosen to do this in English. Good luck with your own training. Today the pups or youngsters are about five months old. And I would like to have you to look more at the contact between the dog and the owners. You can see that the owners have been much more correctly in the movements. And that gives the right contact from the dog side. Today I would like to have Sally to, to train them in a group wise, four people. And I will uh, try to tell you in a microphone what they're doing and what they're not doing, what's right and what's wrong. Sadly, we have two dogs lost because one is, has been ill and one has not time to be here. So now we have only uh, one, three, five and six of the numbers of training. And those one we will follow forward. Hope you enjoy it. Here we can see that the dogs have been much bigger than since last time. And we can see the dog is much more focused on the owners. And that's very positive. But they're still happy. You can see the dog are much more happy and also the owners. And that's the key to have the dog to be in good shape. You must be keen to train and be happy. If you're lazy, your dog will be lazy at the same time. You can see the difference from last time. They are much more happy now. Here we have a new disturbance. Sally's dog is sitting out here, the spaniel. And we should still have control over the dog. It should be okay to look at the dog, but also, yes, and then positive after. Much more faster work after the correction. Here we come with the next one. Come on. Very good. Much better contact. That's good. You can see the difference. The dog shall react on the spaniel, but be more happy. It's a little bit reserved against the owner. She'll be more happy to get him up more in front. The same here. Very good. Very good. Very good. You can see he's pressing out and not keen to take contact with the spaniel. That's very, very good. Very good. Very good. Here we shall leave the dogs. So they will stay in the same place. It's okay for them to lie down and sit up. It's okay. Or even change position, but not stand and anything else. But just be put on the place. Sally will now go to Spaniel and see if they could stand uh, disturbance with a new dog in front of them. And the owner should not say stay, 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 and she just react. You can see now they're going past the dogs and you should see the heads of the dogs. All of them shall follow the owners and see, okay, my owner is behind me now. I, I need to have a look. And that's good. And now they go front and that's positive. They, very important here that you don't give a prey when you're coming back. You give the prey when you are out after you have passed the dog. Don't give the, the, the good feeling for the dog when you're coming into him. If you do that, he will meet you. We shall make the thing be more difficult. We shall have uh, the dog stay put when Sally is playing with his spaniel in front of them to make a, a more clear disturbance. We will see if it's okay for them. Now, and now shall I'll do the same as last time, but more happy with the spaniel. And that's more difficult for the, 
for the dogs instead to just go still. She will play with it. And of course, the other one would like to take part, but not allowed. So you can see it still. They do that. And now we do the same, go past them to see that they react of the owners. Very good, very good, very good, very good. You can see now they're running again. This is the brain training. Not have any new commands. Just one command stay, and you could do different things between it, and the dogs will still stay put. Very good. We will have a look at call them in as a group. And it's very easy that they start to play with each other and go to the other owner, but they need to go to their own owner. So now we will see here a little bit of disturbance, sit down and stand up, and then Sally will tell them, call in. And now they call them in and they should go straight up to the own owner. And that's positive. Well, good. Good. We leave in the dog and go out on the other side and make a group calling at the same time. So even if there's a dog in the middle. So you can see they go straight in instead to take any notice of the spaniel. That's very, very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Now we shall train uh, to call them in two by two instead of all four at the same time. Because it's very common in group that they listen to the other owners and that's wrong. They should only listen to their own owner. So now we will have the calling in two of the dogs and the other two will stay put. Hopefully. You can see the difference because uh, number three would like to follow in when the other two calls. Five and six calling and number three follow after, and that's wrong. You should stay there to the owner's end. Stop. We enjoy a lot to play with our dogs to make them to be happy, okay? When they are happy against the owner, it's much easier to have them in, in good shape, in a good power and a good reaction when you say stop. And now you break it, and now the dog should be breaking. And you can see the owner shall leave them at once they have sit them down. They could leave the dogs. And now they could go past them. And he shall stay. No problem, number five, tell his dog to stay. And now he's running in front of them. And he shall still be there. And now we go around the dog and happy without to say we're playing. Well, we can see that they're much more reacting on their owner, and that's very, very important. And then we start playing again. And stop again. And leave them. Okay. And then we go away from them. And now we can see Sally Spaniel going in through them, and she play around, and they should stay put. Even if they are be happy and be like to play with the other dog and Sally, they should still be there. That's very good. You can see here, number five is laying down and said, I don't take part. That's very, very good. Very good. Very good indeed. Now we should see if the dogs would like to follow the owners without the lead on. Because we are training a lot with lead, and now the dogs will follow the owners without the lead. And you can see they is okay, they follow the, the owners. And that's very good. Positive, positive. The trick is, if the dog leaves you on the left side, you said no, and very fast take one step on the right side and be positive. That's the way to do it.
Number one goes very well. And also, number five, very well, very good. Could meet each other. And now we could see number three and number six, very well. And we could see, very good, and then positive, away. If number six is taking a big step away from the dog, you are lifting the dog up much more faster. Here we go. Very good. Very good. I could see number six was looking out, but the owner was on him and said positive. Very good. So you can see the, the owner are much more secure by themselves. They are much more sure about how the dogs shall react. You can see the dog are much more alert and looks much more on the owners. It's very good. Now we have seen the four pups or youngsters working with the owners. You can see they're much more alert and much more obedient, but you can still see some of the owners has a more difficult body language. And you can see the dogs are unsure when the body language is wrong from the owner to the dog. It's very important that you really react on the right kind of body language to get the right contact. Uh, the level of these youngsters I'm happy with. It should be this level for five months, six months old dogs before you come to the big disturbance with a live game or cats or anything who could disturb them. You need to have good control before, before you come to the field. We will have a look in the four weeks time and uh, see a little bit more on whistle training and also see a little bit more of disturbance training and hopefully they have trained a little bit more on retrieving and see how it works. So I hope you have enjoyed the, what you have seen up to now and maybe you also can train your own dogs at the same way. Good luck for your own training.